called the join concept. So what is a join? So in join, um, we used to read data from two or more tables. This SQL join command will help us to do that. It means that we are making the relationship between two or more tables, right? So the question is that how we can make the relationship between two or more tables. So while creating the table, uh, we create the table with the help of the, the foreign key so that we, we know the concept of foreign key, right? So one, once one table primary key could become the other stable foreign key in that way, two table can, uh, can have a relationship and uh, that particular relationship uh, will be queried with the help of join operation. So when we want like both the table will be involved for any sort of queries, so we generally use join operation. Now, uh, let's see different type of join that we have. So we have a join or inner join, right? Join means a simple join operation or inner join. This is the one kind of uh, join. Then we have second kind of join, which is called outer join. So in the outer join, we have left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. So this is the outer join uh, operation. And then we have the natural join. We'll see what do you mean by that and cross join and self join operation. So we have different type of join available. Depend upon the query, we have to select which particular join we have to opt so that we'll get a particular data from the database. So let us uh, see these all these join in detail. So the first join, which is called a simple join or inner join operation. In this kind of join, we get all record that match the condition in both the tables and records in both the tables that do not match are not reported. So with the help of this particular join operation, simple join or inner join operation, whenever we apply the inner join or simple join into the query by retrieving the data from two or more tables, so first of all, it will find out the condition. And if condition is satisfied by both the table, those queries, sorry, those rows will be getting as output and the rows which do not satisfy the query will not going to uh, come as an output. So as you can see the syntax is, the syntax is very simple. Let's say we want to select uh, the data from, from the table and from the other table. So let's say we have two table. One table is one table is table, another table is another table. In between that, we'll use the keyword called join. And we join table and other table, two type of table or two different tables with a keyword called on. So we are joining on. And then we write, write out the condition. The condition is table.id should be equal to other table.foreign key. So whatever primary key value we have, it should be equal to the foreign key of other table. So in that way, we actually used to join two tables. The inner join in, in some uh, uh, a database management system, this join operation key the join keyword is not working instead inner join is working and both are the same both will do the same thing so this is also the join could be written here as inner join in some database and we'll write one table another table on the condition so on is the keyword again and the condition we have to give so in that way we find out the data or you can say the find out the rows from both the table which satisfy the condition. And the condition is this that has been given the table.id equal to other table.foreign key. Here also table.id equal to other table.foreign key. So this is the 
uh, condition that will apply. It is not like it is just just for the sake of uh, understanding the syntax, how the syntax of the inner join is. It is not like this should be the condition always. You can put the condition according to your need. So we'll see that also with the help of examples, many examples. Now the second type of join comes under the category of outer join. Now what do you mean by outer join? So the outer join retrieve either the match row from one table or all the rows in the other table or all rows in all table. It doesn't matter whether or not there is a match. Now outer join says that in spite of the match, it will get some output. If you are matching the condition, then it is okay. If you're not matching the condition, then also it can able to retrieve the data or able to get the data. So for that, we have three type of join in the outer join that is called left outer join, right outer join and full outer join. So sometimes we'll write left outer join or left join Sometimes we write right outer join or right join. Sometimes we write full outer join or full join and depend upon the which type of database we are using for doing the SQL query, but both are the same. What do we mean by left outer join? Let's see. So what is a left outer join? Left outer join, what will happen is, uh, we return all row from left table that with the matching row in the right table, the result is null in the right side when there is no match. Now, why, what it is saying left outer join means we find out all the data from the left side of the table. So in the left outer join, let's say I have written left join. So what is the left table? Left table will be table one and the right table will be table two. So the condition will be satisfied then table two data will be retrieved. Even if condition doesn't satisfy, all the data from table one will be returned. So sometimes what will happen that all the, all the data from the table one is retrieved. So which is not matching with the, with the data of table two. So on those places, we put the null value or the, the compiler will put the null value and give you the output. So you see, in the left outer join, all the data of the left table will be always will be the output, but for the right table, whatever data is satisfying the condition, that data will be retracted. Okay. And this is the syntax. So any of the syntax we can use for left outer join. It is like this, like all the data from table one will be selected, but from table two, the condition which is satisfying will be retrieved only. So as you can see here, so this is the intersection, right? Where the condition is satisfying in both the table that data will be retrieved from table two, but all the data will be retrieved from table one. That is the left outer line. Right outer join is just the opposite of it. It says that it will return all the row from the right table with the matching row of the left table. Means in the right outer join, the right side table, which is a table two, will produce all the data what this table will have. But table one will produce only that data which is satisfying the condition. Which is satisfying the condition, right? This is a syntax for it. So select, we'll use the column names from table one, right outer join, table two. It means that table one and table two has joined together with right outer join on the condition table one dot column name will be equal to table two dot column name. So there is some condition that will apply. Now this will be like this, means all the data from table two and the selected data from table one, which is satisfying the condition from table one will be retrieved, but all that data from table two will be retrieved. Here also we'll see some of the value as, some of the field as null. 
Now let's talk about the full outer joint. Now what happened in the full outer joint? As you can understand from left outer joint, left uh, side uh, tables data will be retrieved, all the left side table data. Right outer joint, all the right side table data will be retrieved. But what happened in the full outer joint? Full outer joint will return from left table as well as from right table. So the full outer joint keyword combines the result for both left table as well as right table. And it will take the table one data as well as it will take the table two data and it will produce the data which is also satisfying the condition. So the syntax will be like this. So it will take out the table one data as well as table two data as well as the matching conditions data. So whatever condition we have written, those conditions will be matched by the data from table one and table two will also be retrieved. 